Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be discussing something called the switches. Now, when you guys are programming, there is a time where you want your robot to make a decision whether you want option A or option B and what conditions does it have to be in order to take those options. Well, that's what switches are for. Now, a switch is going to be this bottom one on the common palette here, the triple arrow with the question mark. And, whoa, what do we have here? This is nothing like a regular move block, nothing like a loop block. It's this weird thing right here with a double passageway. I mean, what the heck is this, man? Please explain. Well, that's what I'm here to do. Whoa, what just happened? That was awkward. Okay. So, in this case, okay, let's just click on the, on the switch here and look down at what the options it gives us. So, we see that this switch is running off of a touch sensor so let me explain to you real quick what's going to go on here so if the touch sensor is pressed your robot is going to move forward for that one degrees as it is set on default however if it's not it's going to play the sound right here whatever I'm assigned it to uh, right now it's lagging I do not know why go on baby work for me don't doubt me now don't doubt me now Okay, anyway, for now, the switch, what's going to happen is when it is pressed, it's going to run this little program over here. And if it does not, if it's not pressed, then it's going to do this little sound block down here. And there we go, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, what I'm going to do right here, real quickly, is I'm going to put the switch inside a loop. And the reason for that is. Once. What if you do want your robot to move, but you don't want it to play a sound necessarily so if this was non loop it would just play the sound and it would just end it right here however if it was in the loop it would continue going around and around and again and it will always check if the touch sensor is being pressed so let's say I were to run this program it's gonna play this obnoxious noise for a little while and when I press the touch sensor it's gonna move forward for one rotation and that's what a switch is it allows your robot to make a decision know where it needs to go and ha it gives your robot more choices and more versatility when you are programming it. Now same as the loop, if you hit the delete while you have the switch, um, everything disappears. It just, it's just like the loop concept. So just undo that and you get everything back. Alright, well that's cool and all, but what if I don't want just a touch sensor? What if I want an ultrasonic sensor as well? What if I want my robot to do something when it is detecting both touch and detect something by distance? Well, that's what something called cascading switches is. And if you watch the movie Inception, it's kind of the same concept. Like a dream inside a dream, we get to put a switch inside a switch. So it looks much bigger. And then for the sake of the ultrasonic sensor, I'm just going to click this option right here. Here's the ultrasonic sensor. Uh... Let's make it one feet, kind of OCD that way, and let's move this move block up here, and let's just move this sound block down here, just for the heck of it. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you what's going on. Alright, so your robot's running, it's doing its thing, so it's going to keep looping around this. When it hits this, it's going to check if the touch sensor is being pressed, so if it's not being pressed, it's going to play the sound, but if it is being pressed, it's going to move over here and once we move over here we're going to realize that we do have another switch and in this case it's going to be an ultrasonic sensor so the robot's going to go okay so it is being pressed now i'm going to see if it is detecting i'm detecting anything that is below one feet as i have said it if it isn't it's not going to do anything and it's just going to get out of here it's going to keep moving on however if it is then it's going to move forward run rotation so it just gives you a combination of what the robot needs to do in order to satisfy to do a certain action so let me just let me just delete this right here just give her some room all right here's an option here's something that you can do with uh switches let me just drag these blocks out here just beforehand now once you click the switch right here you're going to realize that there's something called flag view down here. It's, it's right on the bottom. It says display. 
And once I click on that, you realize that the switch now doesn't look the same. Instead of having two pathways, it's going to have just one and tabs on the top as you can see right here. So what's what's happening here? What's going to happen is, if it is true, it's going to take the true tab. So if the touch sensor is being pressed, if you kind of see closely, you see the pressed one over here and then the released one over here. So if it's true, it's going to take this path. If it's false, it's going to play the sound. So just for the sake of um, confirming something, let's check this box back again. BAM! You realize that the true is up here, the false is down here. And now this is just, I don't know, flat view can be a personal preference. So if you want, if it looks more tidy to you, go ahead. If it looks more efficient, go ahead. Um, flat view, if you want to see everything, go ahead. It's just personal preference or however way you want it. Now, there is something called value. And again, you're going to have this little stub over here. I will be discussing that, don't worry. It's all, all these stubs, it just revolves around a single concept. So, I guess that's all about switches, I believe. Okay. Yeah, that's all about switches, alright. So, please leave in the comments whether I missed anything, some feedback, what I have to improve on. You're the best or you suck. Uh, anything you want, just place in the comments right below. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. And thank you for watching this video.